<laughs> Earnings Millions in The Sims 4 can absolutely feel like a grind sometimes, but it doesn't always have to. In this video, I've compiled a nice little list of different mod finds that will help your Sims expand their career options and even give them some part-time options if commitment isn't your thing or maybe you have other like hobbies and passions and side hustles you would like to uh, partake in. And also brand new odd jobs that are a lot more interesting and I guess appealing overall and other various ways for your Sims to bring in a quick simoleon if need be. I'm going to go over the first thing and that is the Simdeed Recruitment Services which offers 20 brand new base game jobs or careers for your Sims. Now do keep in mind each career is only a three level tier so they're going to be quick to kind of run through but I actually really like these careers. I've been playing around with them for a little bit and I find them really 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 interesting so over here we have the sim deed recruitment services this is kind of where you're gonna put in like your general application it says here at SRS we have many roles available from food services to the classroom and beyond we have the right job for you once you're signed up an appointment will be made for you to come to our office and register so you'll start off as an applicant and basically you'll show up you'll put in your application find what job Job is best for you and then go about your business but if you have UI cheats and you don't want to wait for that you can just go over right click and then hit promote and then you'll be able to select a branch and here again you're gonna have 20 options available to you so you can do things like accounting uh, animal care you can also work in the automotive industry as a tire technician you can do banking uh, computing customer service dentistry education electric field, emergency services, farming, food services, and as you guys can see, the list literally goes on. For Remy, they've always been interested in the automotive industry. For some reason, getting underneath the hood and working with wrenches and bolts and things of that nature just always inspired them. So the automotive branch definitely seems like something Remy would thrive in. So they're going to start as a tire technician for $15 an hour. Their scheduled hours will be between 7 and a.m. and 3 p.m. with Sundays and Thursdays off. So we're going to go ahead and accept this. And as you guys can see, there are going to be promotion tasks with these careers, which are amazing. So it's going to give your sim kind of something to strive for in order to get that next promotion. I don't know exactly how easy or how hard these careers are to excel in, but I envision given the fact that it is a three tier career, it probably will take your sim a little bit of time to reach the top. So if I I wanted to I could have Remy promoted uh, and then we could just kind of go through the next two levels which would be an auto technician and then a master mechanic but what if what if being a tire technician just isn't the bag for Rem then what do we do because things are a little bit tricky with the SimD recruitment services I could hypothetically speaking have Remy just go and quit cold turkey um, through the job app like on the phone and just you know have them quit or whatever but if I was to have them rejoin or reapply I guess to the sim deed recruitment services I'm only going to have an option to join the automotive branch hopefully that makes sense you'll know what I'm talking about because you'll run into it but again grab UI cheats make life a lot easier for yourself and then you'll be able to right click and then you'll hit demote to before branch selection once you're able to do that you can re-promote yourself to the branch selection and and then you'll be able to choose another career from the sim recruitment services. Another thing that I kind of want to add here, that all 20 careers are base game compatible. If your sim is looking for something a little more hands-on, I do have two brand new semi-active careers to share with you. The first one is game developer. It says a career in game development is both rewarding and exciting. If software bugs don't phase you, that is, you can even work from home. So as long as you have your trust, laptop the world is your office you'll start off at 17 
$17 an hour. You'll work from nine to four and you'll basically get like three days off a week, which is great. And I think you start off as like a game tester. If that isn't your gig, I do have another option, which is called Travel Writer. Travel writers visit destinations around the world and write about them. And although Salvadorada might not be the first on your list of assignments, you'll get there and you'll basically start off as a local article writer, $15 an hour is the pay, nine to five is your shift and you'll also get weekends off. So if I go and I select this particular career, now I'll have promotion tasks. So basically I'll have to like reach level two of the writing skill and then um, reach level two of the photography skill. So right away we have a work assignment and it says write for two hours and then we also need to travel to a community venue and take a photo at a park. In addition to those work assignments, if you scroll down on the career panel, you'll notice that you have even more work from home assignments. So we have to write for two hours, write for one hour while we're inspired, uh, travel to the community venue, and then take a photo at the park, which you guys had already seen. One thing I got to mention, unlike the SimDeed recruitment services, these semi-active careers are actually going to be a level 10 career. So you're going to get tons of gameplay out of these. So you'll start off as a local article writer, and then you'll make your way to the tippy top of becoming a travel blogger. If flexibility is what your sim is truly after and they don't want to commit themselves to a full-time career or job at all whatsoever, there's also the option to get a flexible part-time job. And it works the same way as you joining any other career. Basically, you would go down to the Flex Part-Time Recruitment Agency and see what options are available to you. You'll start off as a part-time applicant, unpaid. You guys know the gist. It's very similar to the recruitment services for the other uh, careers. And then you will go through UI Cheats, right click, and you can hit um, promote. And from there, you'll be able to select a part-time job that suits your Sims needs the most. We could work in the bar industry and become a bar porter, which I have no idea what the heck that is. We could also work in cleaning, uh, distribution, which it looks like you might be in like, um, you know, a warehouse or maybe like a truck driver or something. Education as a home tutor, fitness, fitness instructor, office, parking lot attendant, receptionist, transportation, and warehouse. Now I will say minus the transportation icon, I love how every single one of these careers actually has like a photo and it feels very Maxis match to me. I hate when I download mods or anything for that matter and I put them in my game and they have like hand drawn icons or the art doesn't necessarily align with the game if that makes sense. And I know hate's a strong word, like I don't actually hate it, but you know what I mean? It's not my, it's not my personal favorite. So I think what we'll do is we'll make Remy because they are a little bit of a social butterfly for sure. I think I'm going to have Remy work in the bartending industry as a bar porter. So there are also promotion tasks with this as well. And you will need to work on your fitness skill, which obviously Remy is just killing it. And then you need to also work on your charisma skill, which makes a lot of sense. You're going to be working with customers. You're going to be very social. Literally, like you're going to be talking a ton. For these, they're also going to be three level part-time jobs. And again, keep in mind that if you are a teenager, you can join these part-time careers too. The only thing with that is I don't necessarily foresee um, a teenager being in the bartending industry. So you might have to actually use your discretion when it comes to choosing one for them. If having the commitment to a full-time or even part-time job for that matter is just way too daunting for your sins and you're looking for something a little more loosey goosey, there's also a pack of 28 odd jobs for your sims to perform. In addition, there's also like um, a little like bonus pack of five that cater to makeup and modeling. So maybe if your sims trying to bust into that industry, an odd job would be a great place to start. New odd jobs generate every single day at 8 a.m. And with this particular mod, there's also the ability to hide Maxis match odd jobs. So maybe you're just completely burnt out and you only want to see the custom ones. There is a file where you can go ahead and do that. Um, so if <laughs> by the off chance you do go and start up your save and you're like, hey, I want to I want to start, you know, a brand new odd job and there's literally nothing popping up. Don't freak out. You might have to wait until the next day at 8 a.m. for those to generate. So here we have a couple. Again, I have disabled the Maxis ones just so the custom ones will show up. We have a bust of my dust where we can basically go and uh, help clean, you know, some 
someone's house for a little bit, you know, $26 an hour. It's not, it's not too bad. You don't need any skills either. So that's great. And then we have wedding date required. So Craig kind of needs a plus one. And then our last option for the day is to help Jackson distribute flyers. I've decided to start a new side business and I need someone to distribute flyers for me door to door. If you enjoy walking, this is the perfect odd job for you. And then earlier I actually had um, an odd job pop up where I could be a dog walker. I don't know if you noticed, but Remy has a dog. So that would have been perfect for them. However, I think I'm going to go and do the uh, the distributing of flyers right now just to see like how this works. So the gig starts right now. And I envision if your sim actually has some skills behind them, there might be more options. Remy ended up with a few flyers left over and Jackson was a bit uppity when they returned them. After all, Remy could have easily posted the rest just outside of the customer's catchment area. Anyway, they did the job in hand. Enjoy the reward. I'm a little confused. Even though this notification says that Remy succeeded with flying colors on the odd job, we only received 55 simoleons. And that's not necessarily what this notification says we were paid, but either way, I'm not complaining. Naturally, I'm not going to be able to cover and game all 33 odd jobs, so I wanted to take you over to the creators page and kind of showcase them a little bit further so you had an idea as to what odd jobs I guess your sims could look forward to with the uh, odd jobs my with the, with the Odd Jobs Mega Pack. So the creator is Midnight Tech. I'm pretty sure y'all are very familiar with them. And basically, you can do things like organize my closet, um, office administration, queue in line, hang pictures, wait for a delivery, uh, TV extra, give plasma, bust the dust, which we just saw and even Simstagram modeling as well as a bunch of different options. Now for the other five odd jobs that are kind of surrounding modeling and makeup, you can do the Simstagram model for eco clothing line. You can um, do an event makeup required odd job. So I think maybe you would do somebody's makeup or something like that. And then there's also an odd job where they're looking for a life model, onset makeup artist for new TV, TV series and a startup fashion shoot. But if your sim is still in the market for something super casual and needs a quick simoleon to pay that utility bill like yesterday, well, there's another, well, there's actually two different ways that your sims can earn some side simoleons. So if you go onto your computer and you hit more options and you click earn as you learn, your sims can actually learn individual skills online while side simultaneously being paid for them. So your sim will start, they'll go on their computer, they'll load up the course, and then as you can see, their cooking skill or whatever skill it is that you choose to have your sim hone in on will start to increase via the laptop. And then once they actually complete the session, my power just went out. Oh my freaking God. I love how like the entire... <laughs> <laughs> the entire apartment is just basically crumbling around us. And I'm over here still trying to keep my cool. Don't worry. I see the signs. I see the sparks. <laughs> <laughs> I see it all, but this is why we are doing a little side hustle. Once Remy completes the course, they will get some simoleons deposited into their bank account. And for this particular course, we earned 257 simoleons, which I actually think is quite a substantial amount. Keep in mind, there isn't any set amount that your sim will earn. It just seems to vary. Like last time I had a sim do this and they only earned like 88 simoleons. So again, it's kind of, it's kind of variable. The last and final option, which just so happens to be my personal favorite, is the simoleons online. So once you get kind of further into some careers, like for instance, Obi, um, he is in, uh, I want to say he's in uh, programming, right? He's able to do like, um, he's able to create like mobile apps and things like that and earn simoleons for them, which is phenomenal. But through simoleons online, your sims can do things like bookkeeping for a client. Let me just, let me just fix Remy's attitude right now. I swear. Uh, they could do things like bookkeeping for a client. They can design a custom logo, a website, online surveys, freelance writing, give repair advice, um, tarot, tarot card reading. And then there's a couple other, you know, options here too. This is also base game compatible. 
All of these mods, except for the odd jobs, I believe are base game compatible and maybe the semi-active careers might have a pack contingency attached to them. Um, and also all of these items that I'm showing you guys right now are available for free. So you don't have to pledge or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have Remy come over here and do some online surveys. The only thing that I will say that's kind of taking me out of my element a little bit um, is the fact that you don't necessarily have to have skills to do these jobs i mean i don't know like how do y'all feel about that would you want these to be like contingent on skills or not you know i, I guess i don't really care so we're doing some online surveys because that's pretty pretty freaking realistic you know just to earn a little a little side simoleon and rem is just blowing through the surveys but unfortunately the uncomfortable moodlets have taken over so i wonder if we are able to pick up where we left off we're gonna try this one more time yeah i think i actually got kicked off remy only earned 20 simoleons which is pretty realistic if you ask me because we all know if you've ever done an online survey they don't tend to pay a lot which you know kind of sucks but it is what it is i feel so bad for remy right now i swear my son suffer in these mod reviews but i want to try one more let's do um proof read content i want to see if i can earn more that time we earned 75 simoleons so it looks like it does indeed vary anyways y'all that is my I guess my ultimate list, my ultimate guide to custom content jobs and side hustles and I don't know, maybe just ways to make some millions for your sims. I still don't know what I'm going to call this video, but if any of the mods that I have mentioned here today interest you, I will go ahead and provide a link to each and every single one on my website at xurbansimsx.com. And with that said, I hope that y'all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. It's the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the anthem.